our standard basic demo, we create the core and cavity inserts as shown here. They include the small plug-like objects created in the cavity insert due to the holes for the side cores that we plugged. In the part document, we can see in the Spitworks feature tree that we have moved the side core faces to the relevant side core groups. Next, we create surfaces for each of the side cores, plug them, and use the Create Side Core menu to create the solid side cores. We also add extensions to the side cores. Note that for the second side core we have to switch the edge on which to create the plug since both edges are the same length and the plug hole menu chooses the wrong one. Going back into the assembly, we can see that creating these side cores has deleted the small plug-like objects. This is because the cavity was created with the cavity function and the part now includes the tools which cut these small objects. Next, we edit this core insert, insert a cavity feature with the part in order to use the side cores to cut the holes in the core insert as well. Actually, these side cores are not the actual side cores that we need, since they are not separate parts and we have to use them as a solid tool to make cavity operations during creation of the inserts. So they cannot be modified downstream, since this may corrupt these inserts. In order to transform these basic side cores to the actual side cores, we use the new Add Side Cores menu from Splitworks, which is active only in an assembly. Select the side cores from the screen and optionally name them. Once this process is complete, the side cores are transformed into new parts saved on the disk and added to the assembly so that they are the actual side cores. The part side cores are hidden. Modification to these side cores will not affect the side cores that were created in the part and therefore not corrupt the inserts. However, modification to the side cores at the part level, due to changes the part may undergo, will modify these side cores. This is the type of downstream one-way associative behavior which is desirable.